Wait, you're a Bears fan and you're not subscribed to my channel? Before this video starts, make sure to 1. Hit the subscribe button below to catch all Bears content right here on this podcast. 2. Hit the bell notification because you, my friend, are a diehard Bears fan. And 3. Like this video and tell all the Bears fans you know about the channel. Alright, that's better. Now that you're actually subscribed to the channel, make sure to bear down and enjoy this video. Now this is a podcast all about Bears. You either cheering for this team or just pulling your hair. Pulling your hair. I like to take a minute and just sit right back and tell you how I became the number one Bears fan. That boy is Benny Hunter. Cake on the mic, cake on the mic. Cake on the mic, cake on the mic. Uh. Oh, that's the intro. Sacramento, Sacramento, California, born and raised. And Antelope is where I spend most of my days. Of my Talk days. bad about my team, you must be a clown. This is Keek on the mic, so you know you better bear down. Bear down. Bear down. So as the Chicago Bears are leading up to their first OTAs, a rumor out of Chicago came out, and the rumor was that the Chicago Bears are going to give Justin Fields the chance to be the day one starter. So we all know this. The Chicago Bears, when they signed Andy Dalton and they traded up to get Justin Fields, they instantly told Andy Dalton time and time again that he is going to be QB1 still. They even made a post about it. They even made it a post on Twitter, all social media platforms, and said QB1. That's all they said. So we all know this. But, but here's the twist. Just like many of you guys including myself, thought that stance may be changing. According to ESPN's Jeremy Fowler said, this is what he had to say, that Fields will have a chance to earn the starting job if he's impressive in camp. And he states this. This offseason, the Bears assessed their situation and said, look, we've been an 8-8 and team. We just need to upgrade that quarterback that can get us closer to win- to 10 wins. They felt that Andy Dalton did that. They said, hey, We can win 10 games with this guy. He's a slight upgrade at the position. But then they had a chance at Justin Fields. Crazy athlete, great ability. They said, okay, this is a long-term play. Fowler then also added, now, if Fields is just undeniable over the next three to four months in camp, they're not just going to sit him just for fun, just to play the veteran. And this is a good conversation for us to have because I kind of feel both sides. Like there's a little bit of me that says, hey, we did pay Andy Dalton one year, a lot of money, $10 million for one year. Let him see what he can do for the first four games, no matter what. But then the other side of me is saying, well, if Justin Fields comes in, I've been saying this the whole time, if Justin Fields comes in right away and just straight out beats Andy Dalton straight from the jump, they're, they're both learning the playbook at the same time and everything, but if he beats him out from the jump, I think Justin Fields has a right to compete for the day one starting job. So there, there's both sides to the argument here. And, and you know, the Bears are going to give Justin Fields a chance to get the starting job. But they are also okay if he doesn't win the job because it's, it's kind of like a win-win situation. Andy Dalton beats him out. Okay, you feel comfortable. But if Justin Fields beats him out, you also feel comfortable because if he actually loses the job to Andy Dalton, now you know you have a real good future on the bench with Justin Fields. That just gives him more time to learn how to be a starting quarterback in the NFL. So to me, it could possibly be a win-win situation. So even though Pace and Nagy have told Dalton that he is a starter, we all know that he is not. We know that he's not the long-term answer. But before Fields, for me, personally, before Fields can step on the field, I want to see these three things uh, from the entirety of the Chicago Bears team. The first thing I want to see is I want to see Justin Fields take ultimate control of the offense. So if Justin Fields is actually going to beat out Andy Dalton from the jump, we need to see him learn the offense and take control of the offense and be a leader that we know he can be. If you're not 100% sure about Justin Fields starting week one, and I'm talking to Matt Nagy, then that means he's not ready, in my opinion. So we need to see Justin Fields take ultimate control of this offense. Number two, he needs to have a good connection with the receivers, and this kind of plays along with taking control of the offense. If Andy Dalton comes out and just has a better connection with Allen Robinson, Darnell Mooney, Anthony Miller, better than Justin Fields, that probably means that Andy Dalton's probably going to win the week one starting 
starting job. Doesn't mean he's going to play the full year. Maybe over time, you know, Justin Fields just needs a little bit more time to create that connection. But I need to see that connection uh, with Justin Fields to, to his receiving group. And last but not least, the most important thing, before Justin Fields can step on the field, we need to make sure the offensive line is ready. So yes, this may sound messed up, but if the offensive line is not ready, I'm throwing Andy Dalton out there and letting him take the punishment before I put my fu- my future out there. That's just my that's just me personally. If the offensive line is not ready and you know that going into week one against the Rams, please don't start Justin Fields. I don't care if Justin Fields beats out Andy Dalton. If the offensive line is not ready to go, Andy Dalton should be the week one starter. And, and even though we do know that Justin Fields does have a lot of athleticism. He, you know, he can evade, he can make things happen. But that's not the point. You don't want him to feel uncomfortable week one against a very good Rams defense. So we need to make sure the offense of line is ready. And I'm going to keep repeating this until I'm blue in the face, people. There is a very good chance if all these things happen, they come into play, place, that Justin Fields will be out Andy Dalton for the week one starting quarterback job. I truly feel in my heart of hearts that Matt Nagy will not be able to contain himself if if he feels that conviction um, that Justin Fields is ready to play and he will have no hesitation to put him in week one if he feels that. So I want to know this from you guys, Bears fans. How, how do you guys feel about this rumor? And do you think Justin Fields has actually a real chance of being the week one starting quarterback for the Chicago Bears. But before I let you go, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell notification to catch all Bears content right here on the podcast. Make sure you follow me on my Instagram page at Kick on the Mic. And make sure you share this episode of Kick on the Mic with every single Bears fan that you know. But other than that, I'll be back with an all new Bears video right here on Kick on the Mic. Thanks, guys. Sacramento, Sacramento, California, born and raised. And Antelope is where I spend most of my days. You talk bad about my team, you must be a clown. This is Kick on the Mic, so you know you better bear down. Bear down.